Carolina Connection Moment for the week of March 4th, 2019. I'm Shawnee Stratford. There's a whole lot of basketball this month in Charlotte. First, the NBA All-Star Game, and next week, the ACC Tournament. We spent some time at the CIAA Tournament in Uptown last week, an event that brings millions of dollars to the local economy, but we'll leave Charlotte behind after next season. It hasn't been easy getting basketball fans to attend these games. All the hype surrounding the tournament has been about the star-studded weekend events on the way. So far yesterday, it was a light turnout, which is, seems pretty typical with uh, other things I've done for CIAA related. Um, however, I do anticipate that it's going to pick up here later today and tomorrow, Wednesday, and the next couple of days over at Spectrum. The CIAA was created to recognize the achievements of student athletes who have excelled not only on the field, but in the classroom. The Queen City has been home to the CIAA for the past 13 years, and although the headquarters are located here, they'll be taking the tournament to Baltimore in 2021. The move leaves some uptown businesses concerned about lost revenue. We're always packed when big events come in. Everyone likes to eat here before they head down. Some fans don't like the move either. I'm not happy with that. I don't like Baltimore. City officials are looking to lure the tournament back to Charlotte when the three-year contract with Baltimore ends. To do this, Charlotte must prioritize lower hotel rates and more scholarships for CIAA athletes. When we come back, Colin Cole shows us how former Carolina Panthers fan favorite Steve Smith stays connected with the city he calls home. You've got the tools. Now get the skills at the Carolina School of Broadcasting. I check on two, please. Let's do it again from the top. It's 89.3 The Storm. Remember, your anchors can't see past these lights. The Carolina School of Broadcasting. Go to csbradiotv.edu. If you want to learn about broadcasting and see what happens behind the scenes in radio, TV, or digital media, Carolina School of Broadcasting has a one-week summer workshop program especially for you. Hi, I'm Mark Taylor, traffic anchor and reporter here at Channel 9. I'm a graduate of the Carolina School of Broadcasting, and I look forward to having the opportunity to share with the summer workshop students what a day in the life of a television reporter might look like. I hope you'll join us for a first-hand look at the digital media broadcast industry. Join us at the Carolina School of Broadcasting for our one-week summer workshop. You'll learn from professionals in radio, TV, and new media. Scholarships are available. Register today. WSOCTV.com. It's been a few years since Panthers wide receiver Steve Smith left Charlotte as a free agent, but his ties with the Queen City remain strong. Through the Steve Smith Family Foundation, women in abusive relationships have a place to go and resources to help them recover and thrive. Colin Cole went to the foundation's annual Strike Out Domestic Violence fundraiser to show us why Steve Smith's passion for this cause is so strong. Saturday, February 23rd, the Steve Smith Family Foundation hosted their sixth annual Strike Out Domestic Violence bowling event at Park Lane's Bowling Alley. One of the things about Charlotte is Charlotte is a great community, but it's also one of those communities, um, like any other community, that has some things that are done behind closed doors, and domestic violence is one of those things that are done behind closed doors. It affects uh, not just the victims, but the children, uh, the infants, the kids who become adults, the men, the women who become adults, and still have that stigma, still have that pain, still have those wounds that they have to deal with. Really the premise behind What's Your Why is we all, uh, we all can give, we all can do something, but one of the cool things is um, my mom is a survivor of domestic violence, and I experienced it and I witnessed it. I watched it for many, many of years. So for me, it's not something to check off my boxes, really. I understand the impact and why it's done and what it can do. Despite its short existence, Strike Out Domestic Violence is a Smith Family Foundation premier event. And we've been partners with Steve at WFNZ for a long time. And when Steve asked us to come out to Strike Out Domestic Violence, it was a no-brainer. Uh, this is such a great event. The Family Foundation is amazing. We actually ran a softball event in the in the early fall, and uh, what better way to celebrate uh, what Steve does with the foundation for uh, the Charlotte area. So, couldn't be 
be happy to be out here. This is not about checking off or saying we help Steve Smith or the Steve Smith Family Foundation. It's helping Turning Point, other relationships that we have, women and men who don't have anything. Think about this. That woman she just got a call from, they flee from a situation, and they, can you imagine going on a family trip with your luggage, toiletries, and whatever you gather up in the trash bag? That's what these women come in with. That's what, that, those are the people who are helping. And probably 25, 30 years ago, that was me. With this Carolina Connection moment, I'm Colin Cole for the Carolina School of Broadcasting. The strikeout domestic violence event has grown enough that organizers had to expand the day at Park Lanes into two sessions, raising more than $200,000 for the cause. That's it for this Carolina Connection moment. I'm Shawnee Strafford from the Carolina School of Broadcasting. We'll see you next time.